What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique, I'm a classical pianist and it's time for another one minute, 10 minutes, one hour challenge. And this time with a very, very, very famous piece as always. <laughs> Today's challenge is going to be Mozart, the third movement of the piano sonata in A major, Kirchhoffverzeichnis 331, also known as Alla Turca. But a special thing this time is that the scores are sponsored by Stretta Music. They delivered the scores for the challenge today. Thanks very much to Stretta Music for sponsoring this video. And you will have the chance to win these scores with all the fingerings and comments that I put inside during this challenge. Before we get started, I think I should definitely go and cut my fingernails. <laughs> and we should repeat the rules of this challenge. So, you take any piece of your choice, which is... <laughs> Alter, was da los? You choose any piece of your choice which you've never played before. You have three practicing sessions and after every practicing session you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is in that moment. I go and cut my nails and then we get started. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's set the timer. Blah, 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 blah. One minute. Thank you. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about what I was doing here. Mozart is often very underrated because people think it's very simple music and it's very easy and, you know, it's easy to listen to and so on, but it is extremely difficult actually to play Mozart because he's using so many simple melodies, simple harmonies, simple rhythms, everything seems to be so simple and reduced, which makes me as an interpret feeling a little bit naked from time to time. And because everything is so basic and so simple, you have to make sure that you play very clean and very like detailed and you know exactly how to put your finger on which note and so on. So of course one hour <laughs> is definitely not enough to like get into all the details and to make all the runs sound very equally and so on. Again, fingerings are super important. By using the right fingerings, you will have the right timing, the right dynamics, and just the right feeling for all the notes that you have to play. And especially for Mozart, you really want to make sure that all the movements are on point. One important thing about Mozart's music is the connection to the opera. Like Mozart's operas are maybe like the thing that is having a big impact on everything he composed basically. He's playing with a lot of different characters as if there are persons on stage and someone is coming on stage, someone is leaving the stage. The bigger you create the contrasts between the different persons, between the different characters, the more you will catch the attention of the audience. <laughs> There is like a little rule, it's not a real rule, but I'll just name it as a rule right now. For Mozart's sonatas, at least in the beginning of studying a new sonata, you should not use any pedal or as least pedal as possible for the first and the third movement, like the fast movements, which will make it very dry and very clean. But the less you use, the more you force yourself to play very clean and to control yourself. And after a while of studying it, like after a couple of weeks and months, you can start to add more and more pedal, but all in all it stays like very dry and very clean. What I also liked about this piece is that it is using a lot of different techniques. So you have very small movements, the hand is at first very small and then it becomes very big at the So the hand is suddenly very big and then you have to come back to a very small hand again. So these contrasts are extremely big, like just in the technique, but also in the way you have to interpret it later.
okay, this was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that you can win the scores that I was using for this challenge. Big thanks again to Stretta Music, the sponsor of today. I will announce the winner in the next video and also I will put it in the comments down below. So make sure that you stay tuned. For everyone who wants to know the fingerings anyway and wants to know how I was practicing through the whole time, check out my Patreon in the link in the description box. If you want to know where you can buy these scores, there's also a link in the description box to Stretta Music where you'll find these scores and many, many other pieces for any instruments. So go and check out the links in the description box. We'll see you in the next videos. Bye. Läuft, läuft, läuft. Habe ich schon geklatscht?